How's it going guys? Tim with IT Supplies here. Today we're going to go over installing a new printer into your Onyx RIPQ workflow. So first things first we have to make sure that we have enough space to put the printer. To do this we go into Onyx, we go to File, Manage Printers, and this is going to bring up a window that shows all of our active printers and how much space we have left within the software. So we get our print manager. In this window in the middle we show all the printers that I currently have running through my Onyx software and right below that we see four printers active out of 20 active slots. So I have more than enough space to put a new printer. So once we figure that out, we need to close Onyx, and now we are going to download the new driver. Today I'm going to be downloading an Epson S60 driver. So to do this, now we go to the desktop, we hit our start menu, we navigate to our Thrive folder, and if you don't know the version of the software you're running, you can click what's on my key. That'll show you the, the version you're currently running. We need to know that to download the correct driver. Once you know that information, we can go to install printer. It's going to open up the printer install window. And in the middle here, we see download manager. This is where we go to get the, the driver itself. So we click download. We navigate to the version that we have. I'm running 18.5. Manufacturer is the brand printer that we want to install. Like I said, I'm going to install an Epson. Printer is the model number of the printer you want to install. I am installing an Epson SureColor S60. And based on those pieces of information, it'll give you a preset list of, of profiles that come with that driver. Epsons don't come with much, so we'll have to download and install those at a later point. So for now, we just select one of those medias and build the driver. When you hit download, it's going to ask where do you want the driver to be placed once it's finished downloading. I like to put it on my desktop. So we hit OK and it's going to download the driver. The finished driver show up on your desktop. We can close out the download manager. And now back in this printer install window, we browse for that driver. So here it is on my desktop. We select the correct model number and we hit install. Epson's is going to give you this warning that says um, connect it, sync it with the Epson control dashboard, which we can do at a later point as well. So we hit OK select our model number now it's going to take us through this setup wizard license agreement I want to set mine up using a network connection so we can assign it an IP address hit OK connected successfully. Okay. Let Onyx finish installing what it needs to. And we hit finish. Now Onyx is going to open up. It's going to ask for the serial number for the printer to connect to Epson control dashboard and here we see our printer added now to our Onyx workflow. Thanks so much for watching this. If you would like to see more of these videos, please go to our YouTube channel.